everyone, it's Shannon from Creative Chaos in Tennessee, and today I thought I would show y'all um, this layout. As y'all know, I pull my stuff together before um, I film so that it doesn't take me forever to find all my stuff um, and everything, but this is a layout that I tried to do last night um, that I was pulling together, but I ended up using something totally different because I could not make this come together. I just did not like it, how it was working. But I laid all the pieces aside and the pictures and thought, maybe I'll try it later. Um, I was trying to do it for the rainbow, through the rainbow um, YouTube hop for the teal turquoise thing. So I think I'm just going to also add this video on um, also, and it'll just be a bonus video for the Through the Rainbow. So, you'll end up getting to see two layouts using the teal turquoise theme versus the one. So, pretty much, I am using up some swap stuff. I'm using, um, the lemon, um, the Simple Stories, I think it's like Vintage Lemon Twist or something like that, um, line. The paper... This is just a piece of yellow cardstock. The paper I pretty much took and just um, took my distress tool and distressed the edges of it. And then took my fingers and rolled it up just to give it a little bit of dimension. And I did the same thing with this. This was just a piece of scrap white. And I originally had thought I was going to cut it down and work my pictures around it. But then I changed my mind. As I'm prone to do. I have this little girl. Even though she has a bunny on her dress. I like her. And I think it can fit with the garden theme. But I did take my marker and color in her hair. And um, her socks a little bit darker. Just so it was more my hair color. It doesn't have a name on it. So I don't know who made it. But I'm pretty sure it came from Ginger's Corner. I can link that below. This um, also came from Ginger's Corner, and it doesn't have a name on it either, so I'm not sure who made it, but it came, I'm pretty sure, from the Butterfly Kisses swap that um, she did over there, and then this also came from the Butterfly Kisses swap, and it's a tag, and Tracy Feltman made the tag, so that's my plan of what I'm going to use. Um, these are my pictures. It's of my garden last summer. Um, I made a potager or potager garden. Um, and I'm trying to see if I'm in frame. Let me stand up so you can see. Um, I created an arch using um, an old trampoline frame and I planted purple hyacinth bean vine on it. And I'm all about recycle, reuse my stuff. I took tires, which I took them up this year because they just got too hot and it you had to water way too much. But um, I planted different flowers, zinnias and stuff in there. I built a pond out of an old bathtub and some, and some wood that I had um, laying around. You can see my kitty cat whiskers in the picture. He's always posing. But this one was took from inside of the um, arch and this is more of an up close of my my pond I made and you can see my raised beds that was my tomatoes they were going crazy this is near the end of the summer and then this is a up close picture of a butterfly that was in my my garden they absolutely love the zinnias like I had hundreds of butterflies at a time you could just go out there and they would like fly around you it was crazy um but it was beautiful and I love it and my garden's just starting to grow um, for this year, and I haven't really planted my vegetables and stuff yet. Well, I'm still growing turnips. Um, so, and they're doing good. I saw today because it's the first time I've ever grown turnips, but they're like as big as my fist. So, I think it's time maybe to pick them. I don't really know because I never grown them before, but... I'm just going to tape this down. I 
try to somewhat line it up. It's not going to be perfect because I did curl the edges up. And then I'm going to put this down. And pretty much kind of, um, if you watch Janet Madison, what she calls a happy horizontal. Just something basic. My goal is to scrapbook a thousand pictures this year and I don't even know what number I'm at at this point because I've been filming videos and making pages but I kind of stopped keeping track because normally I write on the back of my layout what number it is and what picture so I really need to get caught up on doing that okay so I've got my papers laid down I'm not going to map my photos this time. I'm just going to add them. Hope y'all check out all the other ladies participating in the Through the Rainbow pop. And I think each week is a different set of ladies that post for it. But we all do the same color for the whole month. there's my pictures down hopefully I'm still in frame okay I think I want to add this right here but first I wanted to add some of the floral in not sure if y'all can hear that but it's like we are having like some massive storms right now so I'm going to add another piece in behind this And maybe this. Okay. I think I want to do it like that. I'm just going to use some glue and put it down. I'm actually going to pop this one up just a little bit. Okay, I think I like it like that. And I'm going to pull this off. And I'm going to put this down. It's amazing how well all of this was from what different people made, but it goes so well together. Like, I love it. Okay. I want to add this in, but try not to cover up a whole lot of my picture. I'll tuck it over a little bit like that. Maybe even stick a little piece of foam tape in behind there. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Okay. This tag, uh, I'm thinking about cutting it in half. I mean, I could put it here. It's just covering up my my walkway but I thought about cutting it in half and like separating it and I think that's what I'm going to end up doing if I could find my scissors oh. okay here we go there's no turning back now 
Okay. I think I want it to be like this, and I could pull that out a little bit. Well, we're just going to go with it. Glue it down. And then I want the other part to be up here, poking out a little bit. I'm going to have to pull my tape up a little bit. Add some glue. And I just kind of eyeball it to line it up. It ain't a big deal if it's not perfect to me. I'm very much not a perfectionist. If anyone's watched me so far, you would know. I'm just, just lay it out and go with it. Once it's glued, it's there. Okay. I think I want to add her right here. I love this dress. Like, I would totally wear it in real life. <laughs> okay. And I'm just got her popped up. She ain't really covering up nothing. Okay, I like that. Actually, I think I will put another piece of foam tape behind her head. Just so that it is popped up more. Since I do have those flowers somewhat popped up underneath her. Okay. I like that. I like that better. It looks more realistic. Okay. And then I'm just going to add these butterflies. Ugh, got a kitty cat hair in there. Um, I think I'm going to put one there. Uh, let's pop it up with foam. I'm going to put it right there. I think I want to do them like that. Maybe. Um, I think I do. I think I do. Okay. I'm going to pop them up also. Let's see here. Do this one. Okay. I like it. I like it. And I have some bling here. I think I'll just add a few of them up here. I'll add a few more. Okay. I got little little bits and pieces everywhere. Okay, I think that's the page and I think I will just write the date in maybe right here and call it good. I mean, the pictures are pretty self-explanatory. So, I will post some close-ups at the end. Thank you guys for watching, and check out everyone else that's doing Through the Rainbow. Till next time. Bye, y'all.